We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Chicago Cubs and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Here's Javier Baez. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The 1 1 home. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. With that, the Cubs get their leadoff man aboard. Braddock Pepper, the right fielder. Now a move over to first and a dive, but he's back in there. Baez aboard here at first with nobody out. To the plate now, Jason Hayward. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. One and two, here it comes. Hit to third. Reined in to second for one. On to first, and a big ground ball there as they turn the double play on Hayward. The third base. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up Chris Bryant. The 3 2 pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, what a stop on the slide. Touche, sir. Play Kevin Newman. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. The left fielder, Adam Fraser. The 1 1 pitch. Nobody out, runner on first. Two and two to Adam Frazier. And it's fouled away. Popped him up. Bryant in foul ground and no one will track it down. The 2 2 pulled toward right center field. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. That is good. So now to the plate, Brian Reynolds swinging a soft liner, and this will be gobbled up fairly easily down there at third for the first out. So that'll bring up Josh Bell, looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And another foul ball. The one two. Runners are at second and third with one down. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. Working for the punch out and the offering. Just a bit high with the fastball but didn't get the call. Hit out towards second. Taken in by Kipnis. Only play will be to first as we'll see our first run score here as this is a 1-0 ball game. 
Up next for the Buccos, Colin Moran. And the Pirates trying to make this first inning even more productive here. A ball and two strikes. In his career, Moran hits a little over the 270 mark. Lifted down the line and left. And no one will track it down. Two outs here with a runner at third. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. Archer on one and two. Again, he sends it out of play. One and two, here it comes. And that misses two and two. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So the base is empty here with one away. And that brings in Anthony Rizzo. The 1-1. One, one. Bell scoops it up. Bases are empty, one man out. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike. And that's the second out of the inning. So in now for Chicago, Kyle Schwarber had to head against Chris Archer. Just a one for 12 career line. Seven strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. Just missed with the 2-2 two -two count and it runs full now. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Payoff pitch one more time. Is belted and take a look at this. Deep to right center field and it's gone. At the plate, Ian Happ. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Now the pitch. Neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some. Three. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Here's Gregory Polanco. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Hit ball to second. Kipnis is there. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Kevin Kramer. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Line drive to center field. 
half is there now, and he has it, two gone. Jacob Stallings will be the next hitter. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Fastball just inside. Bases are empty here with two men out. Three and one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Baez ranging to his right. Throw in time, and the side is retired. In is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. The 2-1 home. Misses inside off the plate. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. The pitcher, Tyler Kepler. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. And they indeed have the pitcher bunting here as he gets this one down. Back to first, and great work by the pitcher hustling over to cover as he takes the throw for the 3 6 1 double play. So two are gone now in the Cubs' half of the third, and with it comes Javi Baez to the plate. It's one and two. One ball, two strikes, count. Fouled away. The one two misses ball two. I got to count two and two. And it's up to a three two full count now. Jason Hayward would be next. Now here's a check swing and they appeal down to first. No swing. So that's ball four. The next cub up, Jason Hayward. The right Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1 1 ball game. This is line to left. Frazier is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Chris Archer, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. One one. It's a fastball that misses. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. And that'll get down for a base hit. So an inning opening single kicks off their half of the third. Now batting the second baseman, Kevin. At the plate now, no, Kevin Newman lays off two and two now. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now. Three and two. Adam Frazier will be next. And he fouls this one off. Another payoff pitch. Hit in the air out to left field. Schwarber will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So here's Adam Frazier. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. A 3 1 count to the left fielder of the Bucks. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three the innings. Coming to the plate now, Brian Reynolds. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. 
Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. He's set. Here's the three and two. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And this one is gone. A home run. Stepping in now, Josh Bell. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. Colin Moran line drive to left but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out digging in Gregory Polanco he's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far hit hard on the ground to the right and a reach but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The batter, number 44. To the plate now, Kevin Kramer. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Hayward, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. The batter, the pitcher. Standing in now, Jacob Stallings. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. This is line to left. Schwarber is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. New inning set to get underway. So coming to the plate, Chris Bryant. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 2 1. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to 2 and 2 now. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. 4, 5, and 6 coming up this part of the lineup. And he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. So one away here in the Chicago fourth and stepping up to hit next the catcher Wilson Contreras. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. And he misses this one inside and that'll run things full three and two. Waiting next is Anthony Rizzo. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. And it ain't coming back. Gone! So now to the plate, Anthony Rizzo. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. Three and one. Here's a chopper right side of the infield. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So stepping in, Kyle Schwarber. He went deep in his first at-bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Two runs, three hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. This one sinks low on a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. Ian Happ would be next. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Trevor McGill answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Digging in, Chris Archer. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Yeah, he showed like a little prowess with the bat right there, Dan. I'd be surprised if they don't attack him a little bit more carefully, this A.B. The count now at two and one. Pitch on the way. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. 
in the air now out to right field. On the move is Hayward, but he won't get to it, and this should put him in in scoring position to start the inning. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Up next for Pittsburgh, the second baseman, Kevin. At the plate now, Kevin Noonan. Hit weakly on the ground to short, right to him, and a good throw gets him one gone. So striding forward now, Adam okay. Frazier. The left fielder, Adam Frazier. And a front foot curveball here that misses down and in for ball two. McGill, a California-born ball player. He was selected in the seventh round back in the 2015 MLB draft. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. Baez into shallow left. He makes the running play. Two down. Ready once again, Brian Reynolds. A hit in two tries for him so far. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 2. Misses above the zone for a ball. A swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Another 2 2 offering. On a line, that's a base hit. So there'll be a man aboard here to start out their half of the fifth. Now batter, the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. Stepping in now, Jason Kipnis. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Into center field, line drive base hit. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Now that the pitcher, Trevor McGill. In now, Trevor McGill. Cubs pitcher at the plate, trailing with a one and two count. Now a change up locks him up as he looks at strike three called one away. The bat. Runners are at second and third here with only one away. Javier. And into bat next Javier. the versatile weapon Javier Baez. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Line drive base hit. And the run is in to score from third. Up next to the car, the right fielder, Jason Hayward. Into the box now, Jason Hayward. Into the corner and slicing foul. Now a throw over to first, and the runner will get back standing. The one two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Struck him out. And now they'll likely need a base hit to get that runner home from third. The third base. So it's first and third with two away. And into bat next, former National League MVP Chris Bryant. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what is he doing? He shows up. Rookie of the year. MVP. I mean, get in line. Full count now. Three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. 
He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Swing and a ball hit deep down the left field line, but that'll be a loud foul ball. The 3 2 one more time. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. At the plate, Wilson Contreras. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Two out, nobody on. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Now a ball lined to the left side. The 2-2 two -two one more time. It is looked at, and the count moves full. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat, is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Stephen Brault, the lefty standing six foot even, takes over the pitching duties here. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Pirates. Number 43. Standing in now, Anthony Rizzo. Outside, two and one. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. Next to bat will be the Pittsburgh cleanup batter, Josh Bell. And it was quite a turn of events we witnessed in the last half. A lot of runs put up on the board, and we've got a very close game on our hands now. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. The 1 2. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. Digging in now, now Colin now. Moran. No hits to this point. Colin Moran. Here's the one and one delivery. And a fastball that misses up in the zone here. It's two and one. This is line to left. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Now at the plate, Gregory Polanco. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The 1 1. It is swung on and missed for strike number two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Polanco around first, heading for second now. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Now that. Number 44. At the plate now, Kevin Kramer. And this is swung on and missed. Might have even been a foul tip that's held on to, but either way, the side is retired. Into the box now, Kyle Schwarber. He'll look to get things going here in the Cubs' half of the sixth. The 3 1. Takes a strike for a full count now, three and two. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Ready for another chance? Ian Happ. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Winning his turn on deck next is Jason Kipnis. Hit the other way out toward right field. There to make the play is Polanco, and there are two away now. Now at the plate, now Jason Kipnis. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. The 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him.
settling in now. Jacob Stallings 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. The count is 2 and 1. Bounce towards the second baseman. Fielded cleanly. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. Jose Osuna will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Osuna, a 27-year-old. He's in his fourth season as a major league player. Can't find his own there, and it's three and one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. He'll stand alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Fouled off. Once again, a 3 2. And he lays off. Ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. So the Pirates batting order turns over and set to go. Kevin Newman, he was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. High in the air out to center field. Half is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Kyle Ryan takes over here with the runner at first oh, and two gone in the inning. No Adam, Adam Frazier will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with the runner at first and two away. And here's the 3 2 from him. This is in the air out to left field. Schwarber will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Your Robbie Erlin is on to pitch from now the bullpen now to start inning line. number seven. Number 72. Victor Caratini is up off the bench as he'll number pinch seven. hit here to start inning Victor number seven. Caratini. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Number nine. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Javier Baez. Hit hard. Foul. The one two. Takes this the other way to right. Polanco is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Now Stepping up to the plate, Jason Hayward. He is hitless in three at bats to this point. Here's the one and one pitch. A bouncer to the left side, scooped up. Throw on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. Rowan Wick gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Brian Reynolds will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. This thing's far from over even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Two-one is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Ready with another two-two. Here's a weakly hit fly ball off to the left side. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. 
So here's the cleanup hitter, Josh Bell. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Now the two one pitch. In the dirt here. No advance here, but it's three and one now. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Rounded down the third baseline. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Now the payoff pitch home. This is on the ground over to first. And that is into right field. The base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Jeremy now Jeffress right takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. So now to the plate, Gregory Polanco. Liner toward right center. And he has come through big time as this ought to tie the ball game and maybe even get him a lead. The tying run is into score from second. It's a 6-6 six to six ball game. The battle, number 44. To the plate now, Kevin Kramer. Two and two. Well, this is a strikeout situation, but it's also a ground ball situation. I expect we'll see a lot of pitches down in the zone trying to prevent the hitter from getting the ball up in the air. And there's out number two. Riding in once again, Jacob Stallings. He was a ground out victim last time up. He's set. The 3 2. And that's low ball four. Eric Gonzalez will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number two, Eric Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. This side is retired. You're Nick Birdie has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 57. All set for the start of the inning. Striding into the box, Chris Bryant. He had that big three-run homer in his last appearance. The last at that, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. High in the air down the right field line. On the move is Polanco. But this will land untouched. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And it's fouled away. Down the left field line and deep. And no one will track it down. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Sliced hard on the ground. And this is going to find its way into right for a base hit. And the leadoff man's on to start the eighth. Now that the pepper. Into the box, Wilson Contreras. Three and one. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. Pops this one up, just beyond the infield on the right side. Newman backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Digging in to try it again. Anthony Rizzo hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. 
Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Ready with the 1-2. One, now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Alec Mills is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 30, Alec Bottom of the inning now, so the batting order turns over now and set to go Kevin Newman. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Right on the corner, two and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Popped him up. Contreras has a play. He's got it one away. And that will bring in Adam Frazier. Adam Frazier. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Center fielder on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Digging in the switch hitter, Brian Reynolds. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now the 1 1. Popped him up. Contreras over to his left. And that ends the inning. Ready for another shot now. Ian Happ. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Big swing, and this one's launched to right field and deep. Back goes Polanco. It's out of here, and they've taken the lead in the ninth. Santa Maria. Hey, with one swing of the bat, that closer better get ready. He's going to be doing some work in the bottom half of this inning. Michael Feliz, the six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 45, Michael Stepping in now, Jason Kipnis. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Rowe, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did that. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Jason Kipnis becomes the first out in the ninth inning. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two now men he faces out of the bullpen. Javier Here's the 1-1. One, one. Drilled to the left side. That's through a base hit, and he's got his third hit of the game. Now batter, right fielder, Jason Hayward. At the plate, Jason Hayward. Maybe too much break on the slider, two and one. Fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. This is line to left. That gets down and the inning will continue. And this will find the wall now over near the 325 sign. 
So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Up next for the Cubs. The third base. In now, Chris Bryant. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Hard hit toward the hole. And that is through into left as he delivers. It's a base hit. And the insurance run comes across to score from third. It's now an 8-6 to six game. Now back. Wilson Contreras. Standing in now, Wilson Contreras. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Anthony Rizzo would be next. Hit the other way out toward right field. Polanco is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Dan Winkler comes on looking for a now save here in the bottom of the ninth number inning. Number 43, Dan. Josh Winkler. Bell, the next to hit. The 1-1. One, one. Oh. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. He dropped that curveball in for a strike right there. But don't kid yourself, that's a dangerous pitch. He needs to start thinking about maybe working that back door, or that could get some serious damage done to it. The third baseman, Colin Moran. Into the box now, Colin Moran. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Now batting, Gregory Polanco. Three hits, including a pair of doubles for him thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's 2 and 1. Mm, chased a bad ball up out of the zone, two and two. Ooh, not a spot you expect a curveball. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. Uh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Two-run game, last of the ninth with two away. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Pittsburgh down to their last strike. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw on to first. He'll be in time to get him. And the Cubs have run their winning streak to five in a row now as this ball game is over. Well, just another day at the office for these guys. That stretches their winning streak to five, and they're playing well in all three phases of the game. Pitching, fielding, and hitting. Who knows how long this will last? Eight to six, the final score tonight. The Cubbies get their division-leading 30th win of the year. Alec Mills earns his third win of the year in relief. Dan Winkler closes the door for the save, his 13th of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Eight runs on 13 hits. No error. They left five men on base. For the Pirates, six runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left 10 men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and 41 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight, and we remind you to please drive home.